Hi everyone, welcome to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So as you will have guessed from the title, or not even guessed, as you will know from the title, um, I purchased the Colour 300 piece premium coloured pencil soft touch and um, yeah, big box as you can see, it's a very very big box. So I... Um, received this or I ordered this from AliExpress it was my first ever order I actually went for it, for it. Um, I asked some advice from Wendy from um, Wendy's colouring uh, and she just bought hers from a you know a good shop where the pencils were packaged really well from AliExpress so she recommended and gave me the link for that so really grateful for that um, and yeah they did come really well packaged um, and they didn't take that long actually so it took about two weeks and shipping information was always available and they kept me up to date via emails so yeah I, I was really happy with how it was packaged and um, yeah the pencils are not in here because I've already taken them out um, and I will show you where I placed them so the tin is absolutely huge though, but you would expect that when you with 300 pencils. So I did go ahead and purchase a huge case. Um, now this wasn't from AliExpress actually, this one was from Amazon UK. I just went ahead and bought a really big case and yes, it did cost me an obscene amount of money. Um, it was for a case, it was 41.99 I think, um, which is like, you can get a pencil set for that much, a really good pencil set a big pencil set for that for that much but I just I wanted a really well made case and I wanted the ones where you get you know the single single loops because I just don't like the you know the loops where you put in multiple pencils like two or three pencils so yeah I did really like these so I thought these would be absolutely great for the colours um, now I did sharpen I, well first of all I had to put them all in order because the order that they are in is not the order that, I hope the card's in here, there it is. Um, the order that you get them in isn't the same order as on the card, as in on the um, yeah, swatch card. So it took absolutely ages to get them all into colour order. But what I do like about them is that they come numbered. So one two three four and so on so I did really like that fact and you've got the names and of course on the pencils you do um, it's going a little bit you do have the name of the colour um, I think these pluses are meant to be something to do with light fast but I don't particularly think that that's a thing um, so there is a number there which is 001 and then the colour name now it would have been better I believe if the name and the number was slightly here on the top end of the pencil so that as you sharpen because of course when you're halfway through you're going to start eating up the name and you won't be able to see which name it was so therefore you know that well that's that basically but anyway um, moving on from that, this is a, quite shiny. So because it's quite shiny, it's not always easy in, in the light to see the number. So what I've done, just to make... You see, I will use pencils more if they're easier to choose and they're easier to put back. So I just bought some um, number stickers. And these are the number stickers I got. I like these because they were actually all the way up to 300. Um, and that's what I needed for this set so um, I didn't I didn't really know that they had a shiny background but anyway they are quite visible the numbers quite clear on them because it's quite large um, so yeah I'm still happy with them and so yeah I'm gonna put number stickers I think I might even put tape around it just to make sure that the number does not fall off and then it doesn't really matter does it if the name and that bit there, when, when the pencil's really small, it doesn't matter because I'll have the number sticker there. Anyway, there's me going on already. So, yeah. Um, now I'm having trouble for it to go in. There we go. Right, okay. So, move you out a little bit again. 
So I sharpened every single one of these and the, I had no issues at all, not even, maybe one pencil, maybe one pencil actually, maybe one pencil um, I had a breakage, but apart from that, every single one of them was sharpening absolutely perfectly, there was no issues whatsoever. I did use my manual, um, what's it called, the doll, yeah, the doll 133, so I did use that. And then there's some space here, which I think I'm going to put the, what do we call them? The Faber-Castell Black Edition pencils. I think I'm going to put them in here as well. And then um, I'm going to try for the summer holidays to try to colour a page just with the, just with budget, well, not, what shall I call it? Budget-friendly pencils. So budget-friendly pencils, um, I'm going to uh, see if I can do like a partial colour along if not a full colour along with the claws and the black additions um because i think there's a lot to choose from here so yeah they seem to be of a great quality i love the different shades and different colours i think they're they're beautiful um i have used them a little bit not a lot i have used them in Johanna Basford's Rooms of Wonder. I have used them in a Amazon printed book. I think it was the latest book by RJ Hampson, the Midnight Madness one. So yeah, and I quite like the metallics. I know quite a lot of colourists don't use them, but I like I like the colours they give. So I do like the metallics. I do like the neons and the pastels, but I do like using the neons as well. So yeah, they've they've been great to use on different papers. On some papers, I haven't liked them so much. Um, I don't particularly like them on. I might give it another try, but I don't particularly like them on the Lulu Mayo books. Um, so on that little monsters, hundred little monsters book, I didn't particularly like how they were on there. But Amazon printed paper, they're absolutely brilliant to use. And I quite like them on the Johanna Basford paper as well. Um, so, yeah, that's a quick look at the pencils. Um, a quick little discussion on them. Um, I must put in here, because I can't remember if I did say or not, but from AliExpress I got them for 50 three or fifty four pounds which I was happy paying I did not want to pay a hundred or a hundred and ten pounds on Amazon UK because I just don't think um, that's a fair price um, I mean there are 300 pencils but they they're not professional pencils so I think they're a bit too much and I have spoken to other people about them and most people do believe that that's a little bit too high for what they are um, the colours are here, the swatch. I quite enjoy doing the swatch, actually. I, I like looking at the different colours. Um, I am a bit confused as to why colours are in different places. Like, for example, this shallow pink, I would have thought it would more be with the rest of the pinks. So I'm not quite sure what the logic is with um, with having not all the colour families. I mean, they've got the main colour families together, like the reds and the pinks and then the oranges or whatever. But then you've got the odd colours that are not with the rest of the family, like they're outcasts or something. But anyway, I'm not sure why that is. But it's quite easy to choose your pencils, which is really good. Um, lots of blues, look at all the range of blues. Um, beautiful. Then we've got your greens, lots and lots of greens. I love this mint green light. Should bring you in a little bit. This mint green light, stunning. Um, I always try to look for really dark colours and really light colours like this for example looks like a really really pale blue could get lighter than that but yeah that's that's quite decent for the set that it is and then we have my two in I need to move out a little bit oops going the wrong way that's it um, and then we've got these other neutral colour, neutrally grey, browns, earth tones and things. Then we come to some metallics which are here, which I quite like. I do like them. I just think they give you something different and with with my colouring I like to have a variety. So I 
you know I, I welcome these sort of colours and then fluorescence again I welcome them just to add something different into the mix quite like this blue here I think it's quite light the bondy blue and um, some beautiful pastel shades as well here and then yeah some more I don't know random sort of arrangement of colours here um, I quite like some of the, there's some unique really lovely unique colours like for example this um, elephant grey quite like that one it's quite unique um, this ice grey beautiful colour earth grey another lovely unique colour to me yellow green grey as well so I think some colours are absolutely great and you know one of the main reasons why I chose this set I have got more pencils that I'll probably never use in like three lifetimes but I've got no set that's 300 pencils and I wanted I basically wanted um I wanted a set where it was a really big set, the same set, but lots of shades, and I didn't have that. My biggest set was 180, so I'm being a bit greedy, I know, and um, that's one reason why I went for it. And I'm glad I did, because sometimes with big sets you think colours are quite similar. I don't personally think um, that's the case with this set. I think there's a great range of colours. The only colours I would think I would like a little bit more of um, would be some greys. That's it. I think, and even that, I mean, I can I can work with these, but I think, yeah, if I were bit just being super critical, I would say maybe a few more greys. But I think the selection, selection of greens blues reds all the rest of it i think it's really good and i think they're quite unique as well you may have the odd very 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 similar ones or maybe i'm not discerning enough like for example this 73 dodger blue looks quite similar to the 71 dark prussian blue but once i mean you can't get these open stocks so once dodger blue runs out at least i've got dark prussian blue and there's plenty of other blues that i've got to choose from so i think that is definitely an advantage remember these are my views so you know we all have our own opinions about things but i i think in terms of the shades that you get i think it's i think they're great so that's that so what i'm going to do now is i think we're going to do a little bit of coloring with them so what i've chosen to do is this is a Dutch edition I think of the Daydreams book which I haven't coloured in yet and I thought if I start colouring this little mushroom that might be a nice start because otherwise I've had this for about two years now or more and um, I've just like got a roadblock towards it because I'm not starting starting a picture so yeah if I do this little bit it might get me started so I'll be back in a second after I've chosen some colours so I've chosen some colours. I've actually chosen what six colours for just the you know the red bit, the top bit of this mushroom. And um, I'm just bringing you in. I, you know my 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 um, initial thoughts of these colours. I did want to use them for a bit, and be, you know before I said what I think about them. Um, so pumpkin yellow. This is number thirty. So. Yeah, I haven't tried it on this paper yet, but yeah, it's very nice and smooth. Going on really lovely. So I have to say that I am impressed with these. As with all pencils, I think you have to try them on the different papers. Like, due to individual preference, you might like them on some papers better than others. Someone might like them on, on Amazon printed paper like me. I think they work quite well on Amazon printed paper, but others might not um, agree. But, yeah, I didn't like them particularly on the Lulu Mail paper. I just thought I would share that with you. But you should definitely try um, because, you know, you might have a different view to me. But they, they're going down smoothly on here, which I quite like. Um, brick dust this one is number 
so layering appears to be happening really easily, really nicely. The colour's layering over this, which is quite nice. Now, will the colours replace all my other pencils? No, they won't. Um, you know, would I recommend buying them? Um, I think they're worth it if you can get them for around the price that I got them from 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 the shop. And I am going to link it. I'm going to try to link it below. It is the same shop that Wendy got it from. Um, like I said, it was Wendy who from Wendy's Colouring who actually sent me the link. Thankfully, so because I was quite anxious and nervous about buying, you know, pencils or anything really from from um, AliExpress, but yeah. And then now we have red, so this is number eight. It's like my third layer. And the paper's taking it really well. But this is fairly good paper isn't it the one that you get in this is actually better than the English version you know the English version of daydreams this paper in the Dutch version I'd say it is it's thicker definitely thicker can you hear that oops it's quite good it's even thicker like I said than the English version I think I've forgotten how to do videos now because I've been so busy with work with marking and marking like marking which never finishes as well as with school stuff and home stuff and just life really but yeah it goes down really really nicely quite impressed but to be honest I was impressed with them when when they, they didn't give me any issues while sharpening there was no issues they weren't breaking obviously time will tell because i've only had them for what a few weeks three weeks something like that i have been using them a little bit okay next pencil carmine red which is number 11. right just got to go to the door okay so that was the doorbell i think they just dropped it off they didn't wait for me to open the door, they were they just closed the gate. Um, I think that was my easel, so I did order an easel. Um, just so that my back is straight when I'm colouring um, and I'm sat in a good posture. So I thought I'll try it out. See how it goes. Yep, that's that one. I've got two more colours. So I have um, burgundy. So this is 15. So you can see how many layers I'm doing it. I'm using it more like polys. You know, like layering, as a layering pencil rather than smooshing together or anything. Because I think these are more, well, so far from what I know, I could be wrong, but from my view, I can, I see these more as a layering pencil. So if you're someone who likes layering, these will be uh, good for it. I do take forever when I'm colouring, I have to say, especially with pencils. I'm, I'm just too fussy now. I'm a bit of a fuss pot. Um, and then my, actually I'm going to, yeah, I'll get my last pencil, which is the Burnt Brick Red 13. And then I'm just going to darken... these oh yeah that worked quite well didn't it darken these edges here 
So I'm filming this on the 12th of July, it is my birthday tomorrow and I've already spent money, the marking money that I've been getting, not all of it but um, I have spent some of it due to Prime Day. So I'm going to get my middle colour which is red and I'm just going to add a bit more I think, just to this bit here. With pencils I've found that if you take your time with it and you will do you'll get better results, which I never understood before when I was quite new to colouring. But I, I enjoy the process now, so yeah. Actually, I'm quite happy with that and you saw how many layers I put down so and I've got to say the the pigment is very good I have to say the pigment is very good and I know there's quite a lot of colorists because I'm very late to the party as usual buying the colors um, but I, I know where they're coming from when when people say that they they go to their color set quite a lot because they are lovely pencils um, the next one I'm going to do this it's stem, so I don't know if it's called a stem, but anyway, Lotus Grey 195. So it's just easier for my eyes to see that big number than it is that. Look look how much reflective that is. Much easier to see this. And the quicker quicker I am at picking my pencils, it just makes me use them more. So I 100% do not regret buying these. I did um and ah about them for absolutely ages. At one point I was actually thinking, oh, I'll just pay 100 or whatever it is to buy them. And I just felt like, no, I'm not happy paying 100. I'll just not be happy about it. And fortunately I got them just over half, half that price, which is really good. So this colour now is light brownish grey, which is 190. So, yep, yeah, they blend very well and they layer very well as well. You can see that, the evidence of it. Um, next colour, Lamp Brown 194. So I'm just thinking about all the questions that you might have if you know, you're know you watching this initial thoughts video, first impressions video, what might you ask, what are they like? I would say they are like... Mm, they're, they're a bit like the Polychromos but s a little bit softer um, yeah I mean that's what I think anyway they are a bit like the Polychromos they're not as soft as the Arteza in my view so remember you know this, these these are my views so you may not agree um, but yeah to me they feel a little bit like I think they lay down and they work similar in my view to the polys. Um, they're beautifully pigmented, absolutely. But but they but they're much softer though. They are much softer than the than the um, polys. Polys are quite hard, but lovely though. I mean, they are my. One of my favourite pencils, I have to say. So I'm just darkening this up with this walnut brown. Just where these little dots are. So, yeah, just darkening little bits up. I thought if I do this, I'm going to get started in this book. Because I have got an original book of this. But I just, I bought a second copy because this is one of... This book is one of my favourite books um, of Hannah's because I just don't like. I just think it's just an, a gorgeous book, beautiful images in it. Um, just go over that again. Blending, blending. 
right next we're going to do this little this little bit here I might use a little bit of an eraser on it see how well we can erase it as well particularly well it is coming off it is coming off but not all of it so it doesn't erase as well as the polys but it does erase um, but just not as well well if you look at this bit let's see try it again yeah it does erase reasonably well I think it erases reasonably well um, so that's that. Stop telling you the colours. Um, Mist Grey, 188. 188. So there's not long left now for school. So it's Slate Grey, 187. Cannot wait for the summer holidays. <coughs> it's one of the perks of teaching. I have got work to do though during the summer as well because I've got new units to teach so I need to plan those so we'll be doing some work during the summer it's not all going to be chilling out but I'm still looking forward to a break from the daily grind I guess um, and now I think that's all right there I'm going to use some of the metallics so I've got metallic Flesh tint, which is 227. So I'm just going to pop that here on this underside. You do get a little bit of dust coming off it. I've noticed that while I'm colouring, but it doesn't really bother me too much. It's probably me being a little bit heavier handed anyway. So that's that one and then I've got another metallic I think which is coffee, metallic coffee and that's number 226. I've been wanting to do this little, my first impressions of the colour for a while but I've just been so busy with work and I've just not had time. That's all right, and then next one is metallic copper. So we'll just add this there. And then last one, which is the walnut brown again. there so I'm just going to pop this original colour just on the edges again I think that's not bad for an initial colouring um, I'm just going to use some white Posca for these dots and then it wouldn't be a K page if you don't add, add a little bit of metallic or glitter somewhere so these little dots here are just going to be in silver gel pen Right, let's just blow the pencil dust off. So, there we go. I think that is quite good. I think seven, 
seven and a half out of ten i think that's all right it's not too bad is it right so um i think the colors are well worth it i did buy these with my own money so there's no bias there at all um and yeah they they are pencils that are hopefully i'm going to lose, use a lot and i did purchase a big case for them so i am intending to to use them um, I will put the link in for where I purchased them from in the description and then if you have any other questions please let me know um, you know in the comments below and yeah if you don't mind if you found this video useful please um, hit the like button I would really appreciate it so until next time guys take care happy colouring bye